Greetings, epic adventure seekers. Welcome to your guide to demystifying your world. I'm Allie Beerman, and you are listening to Let's Get Metaphysical, the show connecting heart and mind. Now, if you've not yet done so, please go ahead and rate and review the show so that other people will be able to find it. And just write a brief note about what you like and what you think somebody else might enjoy about it. And right now, I'm going to read the review of the week. When you submit yours, yours just might become the review of the week. It comes from Power Reclamation, and it says, Grace, Compassion, and Wisdom. Ali has a beautiful way of drawing out guests to share universal stories of challenges, victory, and resilience. Her loving presence and curious mind is a delight to revel in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I truly do myself revel in what my guests share because I'm learning and I'm excited and I just, I love to learn. It's one of my addictions. Now, before I jump into today's show, I want to remind you about the special gift I created for you. Step in a new direction. Why am I telling you step in a new direction? If you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to keep getting what you've always gotten. Be, do, have. Become someone you've never been who does things you've never done to have what you've never had. It all starts when you step in a new direction and it only starts when you step in a new direction. So if you're tired about how your life looks every day, hey, it's in your hands and only in your hands. Nobody can do this for you. You can take charge and enjoy, whoopsie, and enjoy your world. Now, I talked a couple of weeks ago about happy and being happy. And I'm going to take that back again to come at it from a slightly different angle. One thing that kind of bugs me is you see all these coaches out there putting up memes and telling you, you got to think positive. And they talk about positivity. What happens when you just substitute positive thoughts and words? I'm an artist, and sometimes I use actual real 24 karat gold in my artwork. Well, if I took that 24 karat gold and put it over a cardboard box, I'd be doing exactly what people are doing when they're teaching how to say these positive things, because it doesn't matter what's coming out of your mouth. If it's not coming out of your heart. Who you are is awareness, and it's not the thoughts. Thoughts create the mind, and when you don't have any thoughts going on, guess what? No mind. So if you think you're a body, if you think you're a body, if you think you're your mind, hello, wake up and see who you really are. It's the awareness who's observing all of this. You are, by default, you are born happy. Unfortunately, our early caretakers, our parents, teachers, friends, they put these beliefs inside us. And you know what? Beliefs aren't real. And you're probably thinking that what you believe is fact. It's not. But what it is, is it's what's keeping you from knowing who you are as awareness. You see, bad things happen in everybody's lives. But when you don't have all these blocks 
of things keeping you from looking at the reality, when you are free to recognize, oh, that's just a belief. I don't need to believe that. I certainly don't need to act like I believe it, but well, how are you going to figure out what it is that's the belief that's driving your behavior? Very many years ago, mm, let's see, about 20 years ago, I wrote a book and it's called Parents, You Gotta Ask Questions, How to Build Adolescent Self-Esteem. And one of the points that I make in there, which I then went on to use in books, not specifically, not specifically directed toward parents is if you're not thinking a happy thought, stop yourself right there. If you're not happy mood, stop yourself right there and ask, what was I thinking that caused me to have that feeling? Because feelings don't come from thin air. Feelings come from your thoughts and your thoughts may be reflecting beliefs, things that you know that just ain't so is what really screws up how you're living your life. It's what really interferes with your ability to move forward. Now, when things happen and things go wrong, there's always a reason for it. I spent two days. I had designed a birthday gift for one of my grandchildren. I spent two days trying to upload it someplace to make it exactly the product I wanted. And every time I had it, it disappeared. And I had it and it disappeared and I had it and my whole computer froze and it disappeared. Now, it could be really frustrating or I could think the universe wants me to know something here. So instead of living in frustration, I went and I thought, I'm supposed to do something to change the artwork on this gift. And so I did. And I created it again. And it disappeared. And I created it again. And it disappeared. And I said, Oh, my gosh, I know exactly what I need to do. And I changed the artwork. And guess what happened when I changed the artwork? I found the place to upload it. I uploaded it. Everything came out looking exactly the way I wanted it to. So there's a reason things happen the way that they do. It's not to punish you. It's remember, nobody does anything, including the universe, to you. Everything that happens in your world is happening for you. So you can wake up, look around, see what can change in your world to make it better. And what's really cool, after I had all of these typing in and having it disappear and typing in and having it disappear, when I finally got to work, holy crap, I was ecstatic. And all the feelings of frustration, they were gone. They were completely gone because I don't keep myself stuck in those feelings. Now about staying stuck in negative feelings. Years ago, when I would meet somebody who I immediately disliked, I thought, hmm, what is it about this person that causes me to have crummy feelings toward this person? And what the universe told me was, I'm seeing something, behaviors in that person that I don't want to recognize in myself. Now, you can't recognize something in somebody else unless it's inside you. I'm going to repeat that. You're not going to see, observe, notice a behavior in somebody else unless you have it within you 
and it's going to be suppressed and it's going to be hidden. But, oh, I guarantee you it's there. If you easily find anger in other people, if you find frustration, if you find sadness, depression, it's because you've been suppressing it inside you and it is so there inside you. What if you could allow the feeling to come up? You know what happens? When you recognize the feelings and you see the incidents where those feelings are being driven to come up in you, you can look for the thoughts you were thinking that drove them down, that caused you to suppress them. And when you do, you can let them go. And when you just realize, oh, they're not true. Those feelings are just beliefs, they're thoughts, and they're not true. And when you recognize that, there's this huge relief because they self-dissolve. And it won't just be that one thought, it will be all of the interconnected thoughts. Because remember, thoughts that fire together, wire together, and you might have thousands of thoughts latched on to that feeling. You see, it's your birthright, and it's how you are, and how you always were, and how you always will be, to be true awareness. Your default way of being is happy. When you're happy, you just feel good. You feel relaxed. You feel peaceful. Now, sometimes I feel so happy. I just want to jump up and down. But I don't feel it at that level of excitement all the time. I just feel good, peaceful, calm. That's why when I teach the Happy Share Movement, how to make your statement every day, how to feel happy and grateful, every day it's because that's what you're nourishing within there is nothing outside of you no one no event no circumstance outside of you causing you to feel crummy causing you to feel sad causing you to be angry or frustrated or bad no, it's all in here. And the only one who can get rid of the feelings is you recognizing when you're feeling a way other than happy, realizing that stuff's going on inside you, but you don't have to let it be there. You can just allow it to come up. I know it sounds counterintuitive, doesn't it? But actually, that's what I've been doing for many years. And things that used to really annoy me, behaviors from people in my world, where I used to think they were doing things just to hurt me. Well, maybe once in a while, somebody's trying that but nobody else can do or say anything that can hurt me unless I allow that thought, that belief to be a fact for me. Why would I do that? Why do you do that? It's a choice that you make. Choose something different. There are just bad habits because they're working out of your awareness. You, who you are, is conscious awareness, awakened awareness. You're not your body. You're not your mind. You're pure awareness. That's what I wanted to share with you today. It's not a big deal. And yet it is a deal because it's what changes everything for 
you. Remember to join our Facebook group. I've definitely been in there. I want to start something. I want to get your opinion. If you're interested in being part of it, go to our website where you can get all of the episodes. And I know I've been saying this for a while. And one day I actually had my website working the way I wanted it to. Something happened and it stopped, but I'm going to get it the way I want it to. And when I get the way I want it to, it'll be super easy for you to subscribe, rate, and review because there'll be a link there. And all you have to do is click it. I thank you for letting me know how you're feeling, what you want me to talk about here so that you can really pursue your spiritual path in a way that nourishes your spirit, that feeds your awareness.